Hey. Hey everyone, I'm Ben. Karen will join us in a second. And so forth. Mainly and so forth. Hope you guys are having a good Friday. And so on. Boy, people are, are chatting and they're not even subs. How could they? Hello, trade a bone. Give a dog a bone. I'm great, Senti. How are you? Can you show the opening of these two people? Looks interesting, at least. No, I have the games prepared I'm going to look at. Somebody is from South America and just loves Alain Pichot. Come to Brazil. Okay. Any particular place or just anywhere in Brazil is good. I guess I'll go to Brasilia. That sounds like a good town. I left the Botez Cramling match for this. Hey, it's Chuck Edelman. God damn. I haven't heard or seen of you in a long time. I'm glad you're still alive. Middle of the Amazon? Okay. Come to Malta. Rawr. I've seen Malta in the movie Popeye. They filmed some of it in Malta. Playing online bridge, that sounds like you. You're too old to know what Twitch is. Wow, I'm surprised you're on Twitch. You're just the right age to know about OK Bridge, so that's good. Hey everybody, etc. It's St. Louis Assassin. So um, the Israeli government made an announcement about five minutes before I came on stream. They're gonna hire the, the main shooter to go get the hostages. So that's why they can't find the main shooter. He's 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 in Gaza right now. It's Karen. Actually, the main shooter showed up in Gaza and Hamas surrendered. So, and this guy's tough. Tough. He's, he's rough, I tell you. Hey, it's Karen. You guys are still talking about Gaza? No, I was talking about the main shooter is going to help find the hostages. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it changes. Seemed like a good idea. What you doing? I just, oh, you get some mood lighting in here. Well, I just don't like it when the overhead is so bright. Yeah. And now like Trade a bone says, hey, Karen, I hope your poker career is going good. You know, career mm -hmm. in quotes. <laughs> good afternoon, mom didn't love me. My mom didn't love you either, so. Yeah, it's going fine. Should be moms didn't love me. I'm just studying when I can, playing when I can. I've got some in-person tournaments soon. It's Karen. <laughs> will you analyze the game Hans played? I will not. Hans won. That was amazing. He's like on the bottom board. Hang, hanging out with, yeah, he's hanging out with, uh, mm. uh, I can't make the jokes. I can't think of his name. Who's the kid who's there? You know, he's American, tied for second in the U.S. championship. Mishra, Abi. Mishra. Yeah. yeah, him and Abi are fighting on board, last board. Mm. Hey, decisive moment. And Trader, thanks for asking about my poker. Random moves, chess on toast. Mm-hmm. All right, for a trillion dollars, Karen, mm -hmm. name the two teams in the World Series that starts tonight. Phillies? No. They were in the playoffs. They were. They just lost two days ago. Darn. Uh, I haven't paid it any attention at all other than I knew the Phillies and Braves played and then mm -hmm. Braves lost. Mm -hmm. And then Phillies continued on and mm -hmm. I didn't know what happened. Mm-hmm. Um... Let me try to think. 
Who else could be? I don't know. That's football. <laughs> no, I want Karen to be right, Chuck, because then we have a trillion dollars. Um, yeah, I'm just not going to be right. The Arizona Diamondbacks. I don't even know that's, that team. That's the one who beat the Phillies. And the Texas Rangers. I've heard of the Texas The Texas Rangers, Rangers beat last year's champions. Who was that? Last, last year won champion? the World Series, yeah. Um, and when was the last time Braves won? Like three years ago? That's two years ago. Two years ago. Um, yeah, I don't know. The Houston Astros. Okay. So that was because all Texas matchup. Are they the ones that cheated one time? Correct. Now you know. With the balls. Now you know. See, I told you that I know sports stuff when it's not because of the play. The the sports. Because of the scandal. Right. (laughs) I know about the sports scandals. Like if one of them beats up their wife, I I know about it. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Cheating, I know about it. I do. I know the drama. The sports is boring. I sent Antonio Brown ripped his shirt off and ran out on the field. I yeah, know about that. <laughs> I'm not interested in sports. I admire the athleticism, but I don't need to admire it for four hours. Can you allow Chuck Edelman stuff? It didn't allow it because they said Karen. I didn't know that it was a problem even. Yeah, it says allow or deny. I see it now. Yeah. I got it. Hey, Chuck Edelman, how's it going? FM Chuck Edelman. He's good friends with two of my friends. I've always said Edelman because I've only ever read his name, and I didn't realize it was Adelman. Or who's saying it I, right? I call him Edelman. Oh, I thought you said Adelman. You yeah, said but Edelman. good old Adelman. Edelman. <laughs> Yeah, no, but no, but he Adel, right? He 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 knows he knows Stuart Rachel's and more importantly, uh, a V Friedman. But that could be I. Idleman. Like I I like Papa. Yeah, I don't think he knows how to say his name. <laughs> uh, uh, no, yeah, you you got that all, could be like you're, a you're like John I. Fedorowicz. You don't know how to say your name. That didn't clear it up really. I have to yell out every syllable. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just call you Edelman <laughs> and hope it's right. That's in my mind. I've been calling you that. <laughs> Who do you know better, uh, a, a V. Friedman or Stuart Rachel's, or neither? I don't even know what the answer to that question is. He's friends with Aviv. He said Aviv, better better than... I, I, I had a long talk with Aviv today because I, I posted negative stuff about the Israeli government, you know, murdering everybody. And Aviv didn't like that. So I had a long talk with Aviv and he, he explained to me that it's okay. So... <laughs> Aviv's the best. Mm-hmm. He's my chess teacher although I'm taking a break right he, now. he knows Stuart Rachel's from Bridge more than from chess <clears throat> terrible are you guys Christian I am not Christian <laughs> I grew up real Christian and as soon as I could not be Christian anymore that's the way it went <laughs> I'm not religious Ben's an atheist so no we're not Christian hey exclaim Aviv look at that Oh, yeah. We, ha- we have an Aviv, uh, whatever the word is. Aviv's been on the stream, Chuck. Mm-hmm. Chuck's jealous of that, I bet. Aviv has been on the stream. Best I saw in chess. Nobody said that about me. Why be Christian when you can be God? Yeah, it's funny, uh, decisive moment. There's a Simpsons episode where they're trying to get to the Super Bowl and eventually they sneak in before they get put in jail. And they get into like the Fox uh, Rupert Murdoch skybox and they're like, wow, we can see the football game because they were like in the best seats possible. But then somebody said, hey, there's a buffet and they all just ran to the buffet and they ignored the game they were just eating. <laughs> I forgot that was the name of Stewart's book. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I remember when Stuart was writing it because he came over to visit. Mm-hmm. 
and was talking about it and gave us puzzles to solve. You've known Aviv for 40 plus years. I've only known Aviv for 30 plus years. Terrible. Did I miss Hans versus Fabi? No, we've been shooting the shit. Hans versus Fabi was uh, was three days ago. So right. I, I guess you missed it. Aziv was was it Aviv was at Wischess at least once. I want to say more than once, but maybe just once. <clears throat> we were playing poker at Wischess, and mm -hmm. Aviv got a I, I was bluffing and Aviv had a straight flush playing seven card stud. Mm -hmm. Then uh uh like I don't know, ten hands later, I had a full house and Aviv had a straight flush again. <laughs> you, you know what? Terrible. We should go over at Bonarici. I can't wait to play some live poker. Yeah, the games that we're going over were decided by me. I was painstakingly look at every game ever played this tournament, and then I found positions that'll be interesting for the stream. If you want to have your own stream, would nobody would watch, then you can look at the games you want to look at. Also, you're banned. Okay, although you are a VIP, so you're not banned. Who, hey, Bonarici? One of the teams was the Spungos. Who were you ranting at? Uh, you know, everybody. Several people said, look at this game, look at this game. Well, they're just... This isn't, this isn't a viewer, like, decides what game I look it's at. It's not a command. They're just... You know. They're just showing enthusiasm. Yeah, and everybody else is banned. It's like, hey, Daddy, take me to the... Karen, have you been to Atlanta City? What? Oh, you mean Atlantic City? I don't know. I don't know what he means. That's what he means. He no, means Atlantic City? I okay. I was talking about wanting to play live poker. No... I've never been to Atlantic City. I went to Atlantic City almost every weekend in 1999 to 2000. At, at that time, you played poker at the Taj. That was before the Borgata was there. I mean, I didn't take it as like being demanding. I took it as just showing excitement. Eh, they're all banned. That's my interpretation. I was living in Brooklyn, New York. But <clears throat> I got blocked, you know, by that drunk man and his wife on spaces because I wouldn't say anything bad about somebody. Yeah. I'm not going to be told who to like. I, and not I did see Mike McDermott. Wait, who's Mike McDermott? He's a character uh, played by Dame, uh, Matt Damon in Rounders. Oh, yeah. I still haven't seen Rounders. Mm -hmm. I knew the name sounded familiar, too. I mean, Karen basically plays poker for a living and she hasn't seen Rounders. I mean, you know, come on. I don't play for a living, but, you know, I wouldn't complain if I got yeah, good Yeah, good, good enough to. I think one of the games might be Maurizio's that I'm looking at. Let me see. Uh, uh, no. <clears throat> well, that was close, though. Okay, let's start. So somebody do a thing. What do you call it? Uh, you know, exclaim something. Marker. Oh, marker. Somebody do a marker. Then yeah, I can do it, too. Let, let the gawking rabble do well, it. Well, I don't know. Man, there's only 86 people watching this stream. I don't know if Tensor's here. Conversely, there's 10,000 people watching every, oh, every other stream. Tom got it. Tom Kong got it. Thank yeah. you. It's amazing that he's a mod. Wow. Tom Kong? Okay. Yeah. He's been a mod for a while. It's still amazing. Okay. <laughs> so this is the game that was played today between Jan Christoph Duda and Volodar Merzin. And I know Molodar Merzin because... In the uh, ten years ago, and nine years ago, and eight years ago, and seven years ago, and possibly six years ago, uh, I was a coach at the World Youth Championships and World Cadet, and Volod Volodar Mirzin was one of the he was one of the kids who was going to win, like under twelve, under fourteen, under sixteen. Then I, I was betting on him, and now he's probably I don't know twenty. I don't know how old he is, but he's. He's between 18 and 21, and now he's 26, 30 feet A. So he's done with the World Cadet because, you know, it's older and better. Anyway, he has black here. Obviously, Duda is the super GM, top 20 in the world, and so forth. Now, in this position, Karen, white is down the exchange and therefore is better because always sack the exchange. Okay, in this position, white has several advantages. Okay, the main advantage... Uh, for white is white has this amazing pawn on g6. What's funny is if white didn't have that pawn, white would have an attack down the g file, so it'd still be good. But okay. And the other thing that's good for white is the fact that he's pressuring the h6 pawn, 
and Black is defending it with everything. Black's got everything defending it. So if Black wants to move his king or his queen, then he can't. Okay, and the other reason white's better is it's white's turn. So that, that also helps. Okay, so in this position, uh, Judah came up with a plan. He implemented his plan, and then his opponent resigned. So I guess Judah's a good player. And typically, since this has moved 63, people start not playing very well because it's five hours into the game, so they're sort of tired. And you can tell... This wasn't a boring end game. This is a really exciting game. Like kings are on opposite sides of the board. Somehow white's king is on B4. Mm -hmm. Okay, white sacked the exchange. Pawn structure's crazy. So this is an exhausting game. Okay, now let's see what Karen has to say. Of the three pieces white has yeah. that aren't the king, which one needs to be replaced and move somewhere else? Replace, hang on. Let's just spam. Um, Which one needs to be somewhere else? It's not doing enough. Well, I was looking at moving the knight. Correct. Okay. If you could pick up the knight and put it anywhere on the board, anywhere, where would you put it? Um, um, I got a couple of choices. Okay. I like E6 a lot. I like E6 a lot too. Yeah. And, um... H5. So I like H5 that. too. So one thing white could do is knight A4 to C5 to E6. Mm -hmm. And what could white do to put his knight here, as you indicated? Um, let's see. Let's see. Knight, let's see. E2, G3, H5. Right. Okay. And that's what he did. Like okay. knight E2. Okay. Now in this position, black only has one good move and he didn't find it. Hey, did you check the volume, by the way? Yep. Okay. Okay. So in this position, black only has one good move, and that move is not possible for a human to find. That move is rook e8. And the point of rook e8 is we can play queen f8 check. And uh, white is still winning, but there's two kinds of winning. There's white's winning, but it's complicated, then there's white's winning and the game ended in three moves. So, you know, so rookie eight's the best move. Okay, instead, black played what the engine says is the third best move, h5. Okay, and his idea is he wants to move his queen so he can harass white's king. And after h5, he can move his queen because there's no queen h6 check anymore. In this position, if I move my queen, queen h6 would lead to mate. So h5 is the third best move, not good enough. White continued with his plan, mm -hmm. knight g3. And Merzin played his plan, queen f8. Now he can move the rook away with discovered check. Still can't play queen h6, but we can play the move we wanted to play. Knight takes h5 check, king g8. And Merzin said, okay, there's no nothing down the h file right now. I'm threatening discovered check. And my rooks and my queen will eventually get to the white king, hopefully. And I've defended my king. White can't, like, mm -hmm. crash on through. Okay. That's what Merzin was thinking. Duda, conversely, was thinking Arby's. Okay. So since Arby's is so bad, he wanted to stop thinking about it. So he made a move and Black resigned. So what move did Duda play? Okay, let me just look for a second. Yeah, I knew White was going to win this game because I was talking about Foghorn Leghorn before the game. And I said, who do you think is going to win? And he said, Duda, Duda. Right, yes, Zenoy, thanks for 400 bits. Go, Zenoid. MJ Chess for you, thanks for 500 bits. A hype train is close. We need 600 bits. It's our only hope. Bonarici wrong as usual. Although usually Bonarici's right. So I don't know. 
He didn't have it right. He had one move right and one move very wrong. MJ Chess for you, 600 bits. But you're, you're the one who gave 500, so the train didn't start. It has to be a new person, but keep doing it. I'm not complaining. Yay, Squirrel Brain started the train with 200 bits. I'm not sure. Okay, so in this position, White played the Amazing Sacrifice Knight F6 check. I looked at that. Okay, okay. and so points. Black resigned. Yeah. Obviously, King G7's losing. White has made in five with Queen H6 check. This is the only legal move. Mm -hmm. Queen takes Queen check, and it's going to be mate very soon, but... You know, also G7 check is better. See how it's check? Mm -hmm. Then we're going to be up two queens. What else? Okay. So obviously King G7 is ridiculous. Right. Okay. So queen takes. Now what's the winning move for white? And white only has one winning move. Well, that's why I looked at it right. for five minutes. There's only one winning move here. I couldn't find it. You're going to find it now. Uh, <laughs> I already looked at this. Come on, hype train. Same sequence. Yay. Thanks, Vartan Ank. Didn't see. Var Vartan and Q. You're the best. Oh. St. Louis Assassin, your notation is yeah. rivaled only by Bonarici. Okay. It might be there. It might be Rook H8. Mm -mm. I mean, Queen H8. Queen h is illegal. Uh, this is H8. So no, no Queen H8. I meant Rook H8, and then if the Queen takes and Queen goes B8, but I'm not sure if that works. No. Okay, well, go ahead. However, as we've discussed previously, other way around. What do you mean other way around? You said work H8, then queen B8? Yeah. Other way around. Um, queen B8. You don't need no rook H8. I looked at that, too, yeah. but I didn't yeah. see. Oh, because you've got, if the queen blocks you, then you can go rook H8. Yeah, just the other way around. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that. So if king G7, then this is mate with advantage. Yeah. And then if queen f8, then rook h8 check and mate. So after knight takes f6 check, black resigned. See, dude is 27, like 50 strength. So he, for him, knight f6 is easy. That's pretty cool. Comedy is hard. I looked at that. What's funny cool. about this to me, maybe not to you guys, mm -hmm. is like black can block the first rank three, three different moves. I saw that. But c'est pas différence. <laughs> The best move is rook e8 to get mated the slowest. And then queen f8 is check. Uh. So then white has to win this position. This position is easy to win. Then take the rook and make a queen and make more queens. And mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So yeah, knight. But I like the way this was the position. Okay. And then white played knight here, knight here, knight here, knight here resigns. Man, he was, he had one idea and it was great. Thanks 11 years for subbing. 988 subs. We need 12 more. Was this from today? Yes, this game was played five hours ago. I have games from every round, but I, I like this idea. Just here and then resigns. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you, 11 years. Don't forget Votachik's game today. You're banned. <laughs> for suggesting that I look at some game, even though I've already prepared all the games. Also, Votachik's game is one of them that I prepared. Uh, yeah. Oh, snap. Okay. The next game we're going to look at, although we're not looking at the whole game, is Kamer versus uh, Idani. Okay, and I haven't seen the game. I only saw the end. So let's go to the important position. This one. Okay. Uh, Idani, I think, is from Iran. 
and I ran, I ran so far away. I think, and Keimer is a German. Now for a trillion dollars, thanks Winston's dog, we need two more subs to get to level three, but we only have 10 seconds, so I guess I give up. Okay, now for a trillion dollars, mm -hmm. Vincent Keimer, the 2700 from Germany, Yeah. who's his coach? Um, but he's from Germany. Mm -hmm. His coach is not German. Thanks, Vartan ANQ. Wow, somebody in the chat got it. That's pretty good. Man, people in the chat are well informed. I don't even know. I was I'm, that guy Heine Nelson. Peter Heine Nielsen? That's close. Yeah. It's one of the commentators today. I don't. I don't remember who uh, Nerditsky and somebody. Mm -hmm. That's the somebody. Yeah. I wasn't watching. Laco. Oh, Laco. Yeah, Laco's been Keimer's coach for a while. Okay. Okay. So this position, White's winning because White has this beautiful passed pawn. Okay. So in this position, White played the move King F1. That threatens your knight because you can't take my bishop anymore. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so in this position, if black plays the obvious move, obvious to me, maybe not to you, knight takes b5, because I want to take that pawn and my knight's hanging, so, okay. Then white plays rook takes c6, threatening the knight. If you defend the knight, which means you play queen b8 or queen b7, queen b8, I play rook c8 check, winning your queen. Mm -hmm. So queen b7, I play rook b6, and I win your knight. Okay, therefore, Idani did not play knight takes b5. Okay, he made a very interesting move. Very interesting. Uh, a move you wouldn't think of. Okay. Nobody in the chat would think of it. Nobody. Like, everybody in the chat can suggest a move, and nobody's going to get it. That's because you're not 2350 feet A. You're 2650 feet A. You're also not 2350 feet A. Although Chuck Edelman's like, excuse me, 2350 feet A, that's my name. Um, you know, you guys are like 350 feet A. Must be Eric Hansen. What? Helmet Flager. Good answer. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Don't be too shocked. Queen B8. Nobody was thinking of that move. Okay, and his idea, which is obvious if you have an advanced degree in hyperbolic topology, is if I take the knight, the obvious move, okay, then black is winning and black has forced checkmate. There's no way to stop checkmate. The engine says so. So black would win. So you gotta you got be careful in these, in these 2650 waters. These guys are pretty good. The engine says black has made in seven. And the reason it says black has made in seven is white like gives up his rook and then white gives up his queen and then he gets mated. If you play F3, for example, mm -hmm. never play F3, then you get mated in two. Okay. So K Vincent didn't play pawn takes knight because that loses. Okay. So Vincent said, I have an idea. I'll make an extra queen. And he played b6. So now he's going to make an extra queen. And and his opponent said, well, I'm going to go mate you. Go me. Threatening queen h1 mate with advantage. Okay, and then he gave him a spite check. So king h7. Now it's white to play and win. And if you don't win, you will lose. So there ain't no draw. You either make the winning move or you make a losing move. White to play and win. Okay. Let's see. And 
the reason this move wins is that your fault? That was, yeah. that, that was a cool noise. Mm -hmm. Okay. The reason this move wins would never occur to any of you. So you should all be ashamed. But you should be ashamed before you watched my stream. Now you should be extra ashamed. You'll be like, oh, that's why I should be ashamed. Then you'll be like, okay. Like this move wins, but none of you would win. But we're going to get to that position later. Okay, now what you should be doing now if you're not donating, which you're not, is you should be ashamed. So you got that way you're doing something. You're participating in the stream. There's only one one group of people who should be more ashamed than my chat. And those are the people who play for the Los Angeles Lakers. Terrible. So how do you stop Queen H1 mate? Um, I was just trying to make sure why I didn't have something fancy they could do. I don't see it. Yeah. But it's your one day of the year to be fancy. <laughs> yeah. SpongeBob. Uh, um, hey, the Pats beat the Bills last week. Yeah, I, mean, I guess you have to go F3. Never play F3. If you play F3, the engine announces mate. Rook takes E3. Yeah. All right, let me see. It's a song that I listened to on the radio today. That's the answer. By George Benson. Well, I mean, that, it seems like I don't want to take... The night with my queen. That's exactly what you want but to do. But I looked at that. I mm -hmm. couldn't find anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. We're about to promote yeah, it. Yeah. You make a queen, but first you sack a queen. I didn't even see that pawn. Mm -hmm. like, I was so focused yeah. on the situation. So he here. sacks his queen. Okay. Now, here's what you guys have to understand. And some of you won't understand what I'm saying. And the other half won't believe me. Okay. When, when Vincent played the move B6, he saw the end of the game. You won't see the end of the game when the game ends. That's why you should be ashamed. Okay? And that's why Vincent is 27, 20 feet A. Because he's incredibly good. Okay, so B6. He saw queen H2. He saw queen takes... He saw, saw rook check. Saw queen takes knight. He saw rook takes queen check first. Rook takes queen. And queen takes G2. And now, if you play the move B7, you do not win. Hmm. Do you know why you don't win? Um, It's funny, white has one winning move, this move draws, and every other move loses. So it's win, lose, or draw this move. Vincent is better than Hans, but has no press. Vincent has press, and he's better than Hans, that's correct. I'm not sure. I mean, you can get the queen up there, but... Yeah, you play queen e4 check, and it's perpetual check. Oh, you can't, you oh can't, per, per, per. Yeah, king f1, queen h1. And if the king goes to the d file, queen takes d4 I was check. I about queen to, up to, back, to the back, right? It's not helpful. I didn't mean to perp. Yeah, yeah you got to go here and perp. Yeah, I was looking for Okay, perp. now let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. This will allow you to find the right move for white. If queen e4 check is a perpetual, what's the only move that wins for white? And that's the move you played. Um, F5. You can come get that, though. It's, it's White's move. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, white white stopping queen e4 oh, check. Oh, oh, I misunderstood the question. Mm -hmm. So you have to stop. Yeah, white black wants to do perpetual. White doesn't want black to do perpetual, so white has to stop that. Um, I guess you can go rook e8. That is exactly what he did, and black resigned, because white's next two moves are here. And there's no, there's, the checks are gone. That's pretty cool. Uh-huh. So in this position, after queen b8, which I assume was unexpected, because who's going to expect queen b8? Then he had to reconnoiter, he thought, and he figured out all the way to the end of the game. He saw this, 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 rook e8. And then you queen. And he had to figure out there's no perpetual here. Like you could play queen takes pawn check and queen here check, but there's not a, there's not enough checks. For example, just as an example, queen takes pawn here, queen check. Always play f3, queen check, bishop f2, and then I'm gonna queen. For example, yeah, I mean seeing rook e8 when you play b6, god damn. I mean that's just genius seeing all that. And that's why he's Vincent Keimer and we're us. Truth I mean, hurts. With, with me being a lower lower level player, like I just, it's reluctant. I couldn't win without the queen. That's the way I feel. Yeah. Well, you'll get another queen. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah. What's the George Benson song? Oh, give me the night. Uh-huh. Tonight. You have to give me the night. Bam. This was first played in which game? Queen takes night. What? Gotcha versus bitch. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, if you don't play queen takes knight, then you lose. So chess is a tough game. And if you don't play rook e8, you, you don't win. B7 draws, all other moves lose. So you, you got to gotta play accurately. Your favorite thing to do. My games are so boring compared to these. I wouldn't have seen anything. I would have re I would have taken the knight and got mated. Truth hurts. I wouldn't have seen queen h2. Well, okay, I would have seen it. I wouldn't get such a position. Troy Chess is banned. Can't judge people by one game. That guy might lose his next six games. He might be the San Francisco 49ers of chess. Oh, snap. The 49ers were 5-0. and oh, Then they lost their last two games. Now they're going to lose their next game. They'll be 5-3. and three. I Truth mean, hurts. I'm not going to remember all that. What? But that's going to be on test later. <laughs> yeah, Brock played pretty bad the last couple of games. Oh, snap. Okay, next game... People were begging me to show. I'm only going to show the important part. Uh, okay, we'll start here. Okay, so basically this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. And I don't mean in chess. I mean ever on the earth. Yeah. Okay, you'll agree. You'll be like, wow. that's I, <laughs> Okay. If you thought the last one was difficult, mm -hmm. this is a hundred times more difficult. It, this is like... If Hans was black and this happened, he'd be accused of cheating again. Okay, but nobody's accusing Votacic of cheating. But, but I, I mean, I almost will. Almost. That's how good it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is Lazovic, Lazovic. I think Dennis Lazovic, who's only 2560 feet A. Let me say how low that is. Are you ready for this? I'm going to tell you how low that rating is. Okay. My peak rating was 2563. That's that's how low that is. Okay. When he plays in title Tuesday, he always finishes in the top 10, even though like he just became a GM. So I don't know. Okay. And he's playing Votacic. As you all know, and Karim will attest to, uh, Votacic was a non-second in one of his world championship matches, maybe more than one. So he's pretty good. Okay. He's one of the top five players in Poland. Who's the top player in Poland? I'll give you a hint. We looked at his game earlier. Um, darn. La, da, 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 dee, da, 
do da do oh, da. Yeah. E4 is here. Subscribe. Thank you. Okay. So I. What's that? Oh. Okay. Goes. So are you ready? Because this is the greatest thing that's ever happened. I'm ready. Okay. In this position, White made a mistake, which nobody could blame him. Nobody. Okay. He, he won't even be mad that he did it. White played a tactic. Okay. White played, and this position is slightly better for White. White has the two bishops and the fatals. Okay. Pass B pawn. He played bishop takes H6. Okay. This is a mistake. And his idea is, his idea mm -hmm. is if you take it, he does a fork. What fork can white do here? It's not a blunder. It's a mistake. Because no, nobody would ever see why it's a mistake. So, I mean, it's not, it's a computer blunder, but that's not a human blunder. It's, it's human to be moved. Man, that's a really deep Seinfeld reference. God damn. Let's see. I like the name. Pam. 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 If only if only what's his name was here. Who wrote that, Paul? Who who wrote that? Oh, that's a Newman. Four, I mean, you take the pawn. No, I want a right. fork. I fork. want a fork. Okay, so look at all of Black's pieces. I know how to look for fork. Which two are undefended? Okay, let me do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. You can go coin d4. Man, it, I hear a dog barking. Our dogs aren't outside, are they? No. Okay. Okay, now, if I asked you to guess every legal move for Black... You wouldn't guess this one. <laughs> it's the only move that wins. So you notice how this is a fork. And if I take one of those pieces, then I want a pawn because he took that pawn on h6. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm not going to let the, ch the chat either knows the answer or they don't. You can't figure it out. But some of you may have seen the game already or you've seen it posted on the internet. But you, you can't figure it out. And... If you've seen the game and you forgot, then you can't remember it. Exactly. Yeah, some people have seen the game, even like Tan Khan, who says he hasn't seen the game. Okay, so in this position, Black's winning because he plays the most amazing move ever, Queen A1. And you have to calculate many moves ahead to see why that's winning. Okay, now first of all, the points of queen a1 is you can't take this rook because I take this rook or this rook. So then I'm still up a piece. And you can't take my knight because I take your rook. So in the game, white didn't take the queen, which is the only thing we're going to analyze. White made some random move like queen d2 and black played queen a3 defending his rook and black's a piece up and black won. Okay. So now we're going to analyze why he didn't take the queen. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook check. Always play bishop f1. Just not our dog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Always play bishop f1. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what does black play? Black has one move that wins. I'm going to go up because I think they might be out there. I think it is our dogs. The dogs are inside. Well, who came down here first? Mm -hmm. You. Me. So I don't, I can't swear that I didn't. Oh, so you might have let him out? Maybe. All right. So, what, um, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll look at this and then I'll go. What was your question? It's it's black, black to play. Move. Okay. Black has one move that wins. Um, let's see. I, I knew and I it's much that. more complicated than playing the winning move. There's more winning moves you have to play later. So the fact that Votacha could see all this is crazy. I'm not sure if you could, could go rook five to c1. If you go rook c1, I just take your knight and you take my bishop and I play king here and I'm winning. Okay. Darn, I'm sorry I have to go let the dogs in. I feel certain. But who let dogs. the dogs out? I mean, I knew I heard them barking. All right. 
I'll wait here until you get back. First, we'll ask for donations, and then I will deride Farty Party and Bonarici for Rook C1. The tennis should have taken the queen to see if Votacic got it. No, Votacic sacked his queen by his guessing. He's like, I hope this works. Man, Karen made this great uh, cabbage soup a couple of days ago. We're still eating it. Frankly, delicious. She puts in celery and carrots. And the key ingredient is cardamom. Cardamom. I think he saw all the way to the end or just intuited that it was going to win. Oh, there, there are no stupid questions except that one. Yeah, people who are good at chess, which is very few people, like five, they, they don't do things and hope that they work. That, that's never been the case. They do things because they figured it out. So it was funny. I was playing in a tournament in Atlanta and I beat somebody and the organizer director of the event said to me, he's like 1400, doesn't play anymore. He said, did you see all that stuff or it's just luck when you play? But he was serious. He was like, you play and then like you win more than other people. So you're more lucky than them. Was it our dogs? Yeah. No. Okay. So back to this position. Let's go back a move. Black sacrificed his queen, queen a1, mm -hmm. with the idea that if you take the knight, you lose the rook. If you take this rook, I can take either rook. So white takes the queen. Well, he didn't, but white takes the queen. Black takes with check. White always plays bishop f1. Now what does black do? Black has one move that wins. Okay. Well, my rook c1 was wrong. That's see. correct. Right. Um, that's what half the chat guessed. And we talked about your cabbage soup while you were gone. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can. Bonarici, you guessed the second best move, and that actually equalizes. So you're not as bad as you play. I guess 94. No, that's the second best move. That's good. That's, I mean, that draws. So that's right. Good. Uh, okay. Well, let me just... Okay, so the best move... Mm -hmm. Are you sitting down? Yeah. Okay, because you won't, won't believe me. Is E5. Hmm. What's the point of E5 other than taking the queen? What would black play next to move? Bishop h3. Bishop h3. Yeah. Now the engine says white should take the rook and then play queen c8 check, attacking the bishop. Then bishop takes and blacks up a piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. But more important than that is the move queen h4 because that stops bishop h3. Right. Okay. Now we play rook c1. Okay. Now... If you play queen takes knight, I don't take the bishop. I play bishop h3 again, and then it's mate. Okay. So white plays king g2, and now if you play rook takes bishop, I play queen takes knight. And then that's actually winning for black, it says, surprisingly. But what black should do is play king g7 defending his knight because the bishop is trapped. So... I assume, and the, the chat won't believe it because the chat, I, I mean, whatever, the chat, ugh, you're all banned. You're, you're pre-banned. I think he saw this position when he played queen a1, mm. that he saw king g7 and the bishop's trapped. Oh. And that's crazy. Now, 
If you think that's crazy, White didn't do this because of this. So White also sought after Queen A1. He didn't take the Queen on A1. But I like the way like both players must have seen King G7. Then the bishop is trapped on F1. That's crazy. And then when Black takes the bishop, Black is winning material-wise. Black has a rook, bishop, and knight for a queen. And Black has a mating attack on the white king also. So mm -hmm. it's like plus seven for Black. Okay, so queen A1's crazy. The engine finds it, but like a human finding it is crazy. So he didn't take the queen? He did not. Wow. Right, because he saw E5 and rook and right i mean it's crazy mm -hmm. okay so white played the move queen d2 and then the game ended so, so, i mean like black won because black's up a piece yeah so i mean like the game the game was silly because black's up a piece so okay and then, then white resigned white's down a piece for no pawns so yeah but i mean queen a1 that's the move of the tournament even though Probably Vaishali played better than that today. Man, Vaishali played great today. Who's Vaishali's brother? Um, I'm not sure. Pragnananda. Oh. Yeah, and she's she got her last GM norm last tournament. She was a Qatar hero. I didn't realize at first it's a girl. Vaishali, yeah. Yeah. Her other name is Ramesh Babu, because that's his other name. Pragnanan has Ramesh Babu, and mm -hmm. so is she. If you were a girl, which you are, would you want your name to be Ramesh Babu? See? Also, if you were a boy, would you want that to be your name? That's, that's I have a, nothing against that's that. Second question. If I was a girl, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to, uh, Vaishali, I like that. That's a that's, nice name. That's a good name. Yeah, I like Vaishali. Okay. I knew a Vaishnavi. Mm hmm. Man, Queen Day One, God damn. And the, 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 the funny thing is, queen a one's the only move. So technically, bishop takes h6 is a blunder because queen a1 wins, but nobody on earth is going to play queen a1 except Votacic and people higher rated than him, some of them. Some of them probably not. Now, here, we, here would be the funniest thing. Okay, the funniest thing would be when black played queen a6, and I don't believe this, he saw bishop h6, gh6, queen d4, queen a1. Now that would be funny. I, I, don't, I don't think he did. I think he like lucked into queen a1. But I don't know. The good player is always lucky. If you were a girl, would you still make a gm? I would make a GM. I would take like this blindfold and this piece of paper and I would make a GM. Yay. And that GM would win everything. Now what's he going to say? No. He's not going to say no. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> Can't even make a GM now. I mean, come on. With me sitting right here, he's not going to say no. <laughs> what, about, what about seven? <laughs> We're, we're, we're not fond of seven. Hey, Moose, how's it going? Hey, Moves. At the position where knight e4 is equal, what would you do if white responds f3? White would never respond f3. Man, I can never play the line I want to play. <laughs> knight e4, f3. f3 is a blunder because of e5. And now Black's winning. Yeah, Black doesn't have a good move here. Or White doesn't, I mean. The engine plays queen takes rook. Queen d3 is the obvious move. Then rook cc1, fe, bishop h3. And then if king here, rook takes d4 check and rook d1 check and rook c1 mate. So that's the answer. Remember, always use an engine. When I was younger, I used to see stuff. Like yesterday in, in that stream that we did, I was younger then in those games. So I used to see stuff. Yeah, now I like look at the engine and I see even more. I'm tired. Well, it is eight o'clock. 
It's my bedtime. Oh, snap. <laughs> no, I usually go to bed later than that. It's getting close. Uh, chat's getting confusing. It's 2 a.m.? It's 2 a.m. Uh, well, it's 2.24 in, like, Central Europe. Okay. This game was played today, and I'm going to show you the whole game. And when the game ended, uh, Laco was, like, trashing Black. Laco don't trash anybody. He said, like, if this was a bullet game, I would understand. But even in a Blitz game, Black shouldn't play like this. God damn. And he said, and this was, a, and this was a classical game. Oh, okay. Wow, he was like, he said, in a blitz game, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Man, he was mad. Okay, so this is Sanal, who I think is from Turkey, but maybe he's not. Can somebody back me up? S A N A L. Is he a Turkish grandmaster? And he's playing Matthias Bluebaum, who's known for two reasons. He's a German GM, mm -hmm. right? And his porn name is Matthias Blueballs. <laughs> no, and. Uh, I, I beat him in Title Tuesday once. Oh. Turkey, yes. Okay. So this was a very embarrassing game for Black. So we're going to look at the game. Okay, Blue Bomb's white. Blue Bomb is slightly higher rated. Knight F3, D5. Boring. Okay, so boring opening. Completely equal. Black has no problems. This is a, a typical idea in this variation. You play knight e2 to g3 and try to get your knight to f5, like my game with Chow yesterday. Mm. Except in Chow, I played knight here, knight here. Okay. So bishop d6. Knight g3. Black's move is okay. g6. Stopping knight f5. Knight e5. Knight e4. Engine says that's fine. Bishop takes e4. Pawn takes bishop. Queen c2. The engine says black is slightly better here. And it wants to play the move rook e8. The move he played knight f6, that's, that's equal. That's fine. Okay, and white played a move the engine doesn't like. Okay, very interesting move. Very aggressive move, because Blue Bomb's an aggressive player, okay? I mean, he's, he's typically very angry for obvious reasons, okay? So, you know what those reasons are, right? Uh, I don't know. Blue Balls. Uh, okay, so I'm now Blue Bomb <laughs> played, played D5, sacrificing a pawn. And the engine says this is equal, and it says black has three moves that equalize. He can take with the knight, he can play bishop takes knight, or he can play rook e8. Black found a fourth move, which loses the game on the spot. And according to Laco, you wouldn't even play this blunder in a blitz game. Like, he's really mad, Laco, how bad this move is. Okay, so knight takes is equal. It's a pawn sack because we open our bishop up to the diagonal. So mm -hmm. He played bishop takes d5, a triple question mark. Okay, white to play and win. White has one move that wins. You thought he's angry because he's German, also possible. When Sanal is older, he has a nickname already. He's all set. Senile instead of Sanal. Oh, snap. But um is right. Even though you said it five minutes ago. Abdu Satorov was losing to Shirov today, but he drew a lost endgame. So Shirov couldn't beat Abdu Satorov. But Shirov was completely winning. He hit table base wins also. He was winning for hours. Uh. 
Um, Boy, if Sanal had the white pieces against Hikaru's stepdad, the pairing would be Sanal Weir Mantri. That's a good joke that only like 1% of you get. Dang. Shirov did not win that, Deparnia. Hmm? I was looking at, um, I'm not real sure, but I was looking at Queen C3. That is correct. Yeah. Because... And the game is over. Yeah. Okay, White's threatening. Knight G4, followed by saying, God damn. Knight G4 wins everything. Mm -hmm. you, win, you win this for free. No defense. So Black prevented Knight G4, because he's 2600. Played H5. And then white made a move, and black resigned. That's right, moves. Very good. People tell me that the, the Gotham chess book is good, and he'll make millions from it. That's what I heard. Hard to make millions from a book, but you know, he could, I guess. Probably, let's see, knight d7. That is correct. Yeah. And black resigned. The engine says white's plus five. Because black can go here and lose a piece and be a piece down in the end game. Mm -hmm. Can't have more fun than that. Man, Lyco was furious that black played bishop takes d5 because it just loses instantly. When not only does it lose instantly, the engine doesn't like the move d5. And it says knight takes is good, bishop takes is good, rook e8 is good. And he plays a move that like loses in one move. Now he can resign. Truth hurts. And that game happened today. Levy cracked the code. What about Levy? He cracked the code about making money off of chess. I want to understand Sinal and Hikaru's dad joke. First of all, it's Hikaru's stepdad. Second of all, Hikaru's stepdad's first name is Sunil, S-U-N-I-L. So the pairing would be Sunal we are Mantri instead of Sunil we are Mantri. That's why it's funny. I hope you've learned something today. Not sure what you learned, but you know, something. And so forth. You know, he's just trying to educate himself for his job as mod. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Incorrect. If you guys think Levy's made the most money off of chess, you forgot somebody very important. Do you know who they forgot? Um, Magnus. You know who else they forgot? The, the guy who owns chess.com. Eric something. Well, I mean, that's true, but... Yeah, Hikaru's made more money than Levy also. Yeah, but for the level of chess that Levy is, he's done pretty good. Mm -hmm. So Neil Weir Mantry is probably to me he's like early seventies or late sixties. He's one of them. I don't know which one. Probably late sixties. No, the internet's a strange place. <laughs> Just never know what's gonna happen. The guy who owns Chessable is the guy who owns Chess.com. They bought Chessable about a year ago. They took over the Play Magnus group. That's the Eric guy I was talking about. Anya Taylor-Joy made the most money off of Chess. That's funny. Yeah, Chessable got sucked up by Chess.com. Anya, Anya Taylor-Joy doesn't have as much money as Magnus. Not even close. And so forth. Doesn't the Mormon church own a decent percentage of chess.com? I, I don't know. What am I, religious? Okay, next game. Yours, so next. Okay, this guy's having a great tournament. And more important than his tournament is his name. That's much more important. His name is Ramazan Zalmakhanov. Man, that's, I don't know who he is, but he's the greatest. He's 2447, and he has like two out of three against 
three twenty six hundred players. Or maybe he has two and a half. He has a lot of points. Okay, I want to show the end of the game only. Uh, this was in round two, I think. Hey, Peter. No, this is round one. Hey, Charlotte Chess Center, how's it going? Let's go. Let's go to here. Okay. Okay, so White's winning because White has two pieces for a rook. On the other hand, excuse me, Black has an extra pawn, and White said, "No, you don't," and took on e5. Okay. And then black played king f6, forking the knights. Now, a normal person who's not using an engine to cheat would play what move here? What's the normal move for white? You know, knight f3. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh. No, I was thinking f4. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm not but, normal. No, knight f3, <laughs> knight f3 I didn't see. Knight f3 is fine. That's nothing wrong with that. Okay. He played the best move that most people wouldn't consider. Because it's too tricky. But that's what these people do, is they play tricky. All these 25, 26, 27 players who are young, they just play the engine move. So he played the move, knight takes c6. Okay. Now in this position, black played rook c7, and both knights are attacked. Mm -hmm. So that's why nobody would do this. Nobody would play knight takes c6, because I'm up two pieces for a rook, and now I'm making it complicated. That's just his game, okay? His name's not Ramazan for nothing. Okay, so he played the move f4, <clears throat> defending his knight. And the idea is, if you take the knight on c6, I play rook b7, and I have unstoppable mate. Ah. And if you don't like that mate, you're like, oh, that mate doesn't, I don't like it. Then knight takes h7 is mate. So, you know, you got a couple of mates, one for each of you. Okay. So black played the move, h6. He said, ha ha, I'm still attacking both of your knights. So again, like if I was white, I would never do any of this because like my knights are all attacked. Okay. Then white played e5 check. Now black has two legal moves. King here, losing the rook. And the move that he played, king f5. And now both knights are still attacked. Okay, and white made a move, and black resigned. What move did white make? All right. Uh, let's see. Are you located on the East Coast? I am not. G4. Then king takes <laughs> one of these pawns, probably G4. Um, <coughs> excuse me. How does he get away? That's going to bring the rook. White up. has one move that wins. Otherwise, yeah. he's not winning. Let me see. It's like I'm choking. On your own rage? Yeah, I see. It's water. He must have seen the play Chicago because he gave him the old razzle dazzle, Ramazon. Maybe he works for Amazon and he's Ramazon. Oh, maybe you could swing it up there. A oh, rook b8. Mm -mm. Huh? No, the rook here is not made. I have king here. I'm not sure then. Ready? Yeah. King F3, threatening G4 mate. Darn, it seems obvious now. Yeah, and so he resigned here. The, the way to stop G4 mate, other than, well, this is the move that stops mate the longest, but okay, that's ridiculous, is H5, which stops G4 mate, and now it's your move. And then, and then Rick F8 is mate because the king's on F3. Yeah. You can't stop it. So I play this was, you said classical time control? Yeah, because yeah, Lego yeah. got mad. So like, I'm like, knight c6, who would play that? Who would play f4? 
And then who would play e5 check and king f3? When when you just have two pieces for a rook, so you're winning slowly, he wins like the engine way. Who does that? Good thing Hans didn't do that. A super chance. How do you think Bobby Fischer contributed to chess players making more money? What you know? What is this? What? I don't know who's worse. You or the guy said, "Can I play you one on one?" Who already said it before? Obviously, he's worse. But. No, it's not suspicious. Tom Khan. Banned exactly. No, I mean the top players are really good in 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 uh, in, in classical chess. Although this guy's twenty four forty seven, he's barely higher rated than me. But his name is a lot cooler than mine. Mm -hmm. Man. Thanks for the sub. Don't. This guy drew Ferruja today, so two and a half out of three. Yeah, this guy's pretty good. COVID was better for chess than Bobby Fischer. That is funny. Now let's see if Karen knows the answer. Mm -hmm. In 1992, Fischer came back. He hadn't played since 72. And he played a match with Spassky mm -hmm. and Sveti Stefan. And what was the prize fund for the match, if you remember? I mean, I'm not going to know. But just guess. Okay. Fisher Spassky, 92. 92. Fisher Spassky. I mean, I don't even know what the prize fund is for the one to modern. Tell me what the Carlson prize fund was. Usually the world championship yeah, yeah. now is like a million for the winner and 800000 for the loser right, or something. Right, okay. Something like that. So I'm going to say 150000 Five million. Wow. Yeah, they wanted Fisher to play. Five million was the prize fund, and Spassky said, yes, I'll play. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. In 1992 also, so that's like $25 billion today. That is a lot of money. Yeah, but those AA batteries are expensive. <laughs> Who won? Ugh. Oh. By Farty Party. Where's Farty Party going? He said he has to get snacks. Uh, bye. I'm assuming the stream will be over when I get back. Nice. I think he's like leaving his house to get snacks. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Ready for the next game? Only several more to go. <laughs> okay. The next game is between Sandro Moreco and Kirill Shevchenko. Kirill Shevchenko, I think, was like on my stream when I was raising money for Ukraine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, also our say. stream. Okay, I forgot what position I wanted to look at. Why did I want to look at this game? Oh, I know why. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Yeah, we did a fundraiser. Let me go back here. Okay, this is move 58. Okay. So materials equal. But black's king is very suspicious. Okay, the engine says white is plus six. And so forth. Okay, white played queen f6 check. That is the correct move. King h6 is correct because it's the only legal move and therefore correct. Knight f7 check. Good. King h7. Good. Rook b6. That moves fine. Queen d5. King h1. Always play king h1. King h1, triple question mark. Okay, so in this position, white didn't see a way to improve. So he played king h1, which does not win. White has one way to win in this position. And what he has to do, which I teach my students to do, but none of them do it. He has to stop Black's counterplay. And in fact, I could ask you in this position or in the next position, what move can Black make in this position to get counterplay? Attack something, rawr, aggressive. What move would Black play? Um, to get some counterplay. Yeah, because Black's king looks pretty bad, but maybe Black can get some counterplay somewhere. Yeah. I'm trying to see, maybe move a knight. Let me see. Move it. 
Mm. Man, who would play King H1? What a loser. The engine says if white plays the right move, he's plus 35. God damn. You spelled uh, Fisher wrong and Bobby Fisher. You could. Bobby Fisher quit chess when I was three. You're saying what could, if it were Black's turn? Because Black's turn, what move would he make to get counterplay? Which, in fact, he did play because White played King H1. Boo. And then he ripped G7. Okay. No, it just attacks the knight. The knight goes to G5 check. Oh, check. I want counterplay that's like a serious. Very serious. Mm. It's okay. White didn't see it either. Yeah. Man, when you're plus 35, you shouldn't draw. Damn. This is move 62. <clears throat> I'm relatively sure on move 60, they get more time. So what, what kind of move is this? What's wrong with him? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, black's going to play knight e1, threatening queen g2 mate. Uh. Queen g2 mate is hard to stop. Because if you stop it with your queen, like queen f2, I, can, I could just take this pawn because your queen's defending your knight. So white played king h1, black played knight e1, and now the game is equal. The engine says oh, draw, and white repeated. Check, and they drew by reputation. And draw. Mm. Okay. Now let's go back. Instead of king h1 double question mark, what move can white make that prevents knight e1? Um. Mm. I guess you can go, let's see. Rookie six. Rookie six. Okay. Now, rookie six not only prevents knight e1, it does something even more important, if that's possible. White wants to play rookie seven. God damn. I said god damn. What movie? Um, I can't remember. Pulp Fiction. When Uma Thurman was in the ladies' room, she did some cocaine and said, god damn, I said god damn. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. So rookie seven's the threat, and the engine says white's plus 35 in this position. Like if you play rook g7 to stop like rook e7, mm -hmm. I check and play rook e8, threatening rook h8 check. So if queen takes knight, then mate, or well, this wins the queen. It's probably the best he can do too. So rook e6 would have been plus 35. He played king h1, then after knight e1, it's a draw. And the funny thing is, like for me, this is move 60 something. So they've played for five and a half hours and white's plus 35 that he makes a move that's equal. That's yeah. the most fun you can have. So like Mareko right now is like in his hotel room crying. He's like, I was beating Shevchenko and Shevchenko's 2671. Yeah. Yeah. So he was going to beat like, you know, highest straight player he ever beat. And then he, he played King H1. Oh, boo, boo. Although I think this game was played a couple of days ago, so he's fine now. Yeah, this game was played in round one. Mm. You're not old enough to watch Pulp Fiction no matter how old you are. <laughs> you cry every time you lose, Bonerich? Yeah, but he didn't lose. He drew. He should have won with his queen, rook, and knight checkmating his opponent's king. Because the rook is useless. The rook's not coming down here like it should. That would be useful. Don't forget, we need some hype trains. Lots of them. Okay, I have another Kamer game. And this is the best thing I'm going to show you today. Okay, and I have to find the right position. Uh, okay. I found it. Okay, this is the most complicated thing that's ever happened in, in life. Not in chess, in life. Mm -hmm. This is more complicated than when that guy played Queen A1, whatever his name was, uh, Votacek, or Votacek, I don't know how to say his name. Either way is cool. His name is really cool. 
Okay, this is better than queen a1. Okay. In this position, uh, this is Volodar Mirzin, and we've already seen a game of his also. He's that kid I was telling you about. And this is Vincent Keimer. This is round one. Uh, Mirzin played a move that loses, played the move queen a5. Okay. Now, White has the most complicated win in chess history. And he didn't do it, and the game ended in a draw. And when they asked him why he didn't do it, I'm going to tell you why he didn't do it. Okay. So the win, which he missed, he played the move rook f1, threatening f7. Mm -hmm. Okay. The move, the, the move that wins, which he saw everything. He saw everything except the last move. He saw everything. But he didn't see the last move, and that's the move you have to see. None of you will see it when it happens. But as I'm playing it, you won't see it. Like when I play it, you won't be like, oh, that was the move. Okay. So white has to play knight f7 to win. Now, there's a very important question about the move rook b4, which we're going to discuss later. And I didn't understand why rook b4 lost, but now I do because I asked the engine. But That's also super complicated. Mm -hmm. Okay. So black plays the obvious move. Knight takes knight. White plays rook f1, threatening the knight on f7. The only way to defend the knight is with the rook. There's no other way to defend it. Can't play knight d6 because I take it. You can't play queen c7 because I take it. So you have to play rook f8 or rook e7. doesn't matter which one. I take the knight. You take. And I play rook f1. Now I'm threatening queen takes rook check and I'm winning. Okay. So Vincent Keimer saw this. And he saw... Amazing defense for black. Unbelievable defense. Bishop f6. Always play bishop f6. Rook takes f6. Rook a1 check. King h2. And now, how does black defend his rook on f7? Let's see. Well, you can go queen c7. There's a bishop here. Oh. Um. Can't go there. Man, I've seen some bad answers, Isaiah, but you're you're working hard with the bad answer. God damn, King G7. Well, I hung my queen. God damn. Yeah, but he's, he's he said this. <laughs> I don't think that I don't, I don't think that defends the rook. God damn. I mean, King F8's worse, but it's close. <laughs> oh, let's see. All I want you to do is defend the rook, but it's very hard actually to see it. It's psychologically hard. Well, I mean, the knight obviously goes over there, then they, the, they take, take it, my right. knight. Yep. So that, that doesn't seem to work. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to see how that would work. And somebody else said King G7. You're all banned. Well, it's hard to see stuff. Man, Bonarici and Thaddeus got it. I've never seen such indolence. Yeah, I don't know. Ready? Yeah. You'll, you'll like this. All right. You're going to like it. Queen A2, defending the rook through x-ray. Oh, that is nice. Okay, and Ke Keimer saw this and didn't play it because this is fine for black. Now I'm going to show you what Keimer missed. In this position, after rook a1 check, mm -hmm. you don't play king h2. You play the least likely move. Which move would you never play here with white? I don't know. Just go ahead. With All right. Well, I guess queen d1 is the least likely move. Knight c1 winning. Hanging the knight with check. The reason knight c1 wins is it stops queen a2. Although I'm realizing now I can play queen a2. 
That's funny. You can play queen a2 now. That's actually the best move. <laughs> then queen takes a2, rook takes a2, rook takes rook wins. White's a piece up because the rook's hanging. If you play rook a1, I have rook f1. Mm. Okay, so knight c1, and the idea is if you take the knight, then I play king h2, and there's no defense to queen takes rook check and rook takes h6 mate. Next move. You, there's nothing to do about this because you played knight c1 and you stopped queen a2. Although I do like the fact that queen a2 is the best move. After knight c1, this is the engine move. I, I do like that. Okay, so Keimer actually saw everything but didn't see knight c1. He saw king h2, queen h2, and he didn't play the line. If he had played the line and they got this position and he played knight c1, he would have won. Okay, now, when people were talking about that brilliant line, I was wondering... Instead of knight takes knight and the line we just looked at, what if black plays rook b4? And I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, I don't know, black's, what, what does white do? What white does is white takes this, double check, king h2. Now white's queen is attacked and his knight's attacked. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I don't know what to do. So you play queen d3. So you're threatening e5 check winning the knight. So black takes. And I was like, black, black's up a piece. So, but, but the engine says white's completely winning. E5 attacking the knight. If I move the knight somewhere, well, if I don't move the knight, you take it. Okay, then you sack another piece, knight f4, threatening queen g6 mate, and black, black gets mated here. Black's getting mated. So this, this position after, after E5 is winning for white. I don't know how anybody can see any of that, but Keimer wasn't concerned about this line. He was only concerned about the line with queen a2 because he didn't see knight c1. That's pretty complicated. That's in ridiculously complicated. Yeah. So knight takes f7 does win, and white's winning. And the way the game went, he was, he was not winning. Now, what's funny about all this is, which nobody has pointed out except me, queen a5 is the losing move. So like if two engines are playing, like the super tournaments they have where all the engines play each other, mm -hmm. the engine's not playing queen a5 because knight f7 wins and engine seizes everything. But queen a7 is equal. That defends the rook also, but it keeps an eye on this pawn here. And now knight f7 is equal because after knight f7, knight f7, rook here, rook here, rook takes, rook takes, rook f1, which we looked at with the queen here. Now we have bishop takes d4 check. And... My queen can defend my rook by playing the move b6. And my queen defends my rook. That's something like an engine would see that a human would never see. And in fact, nobody's pointed that out but me because I was using the engine. So that's funny. Like, if two engines are playing, black plays the move queen a7 and it's equal. But when a human plays, queen a5 loses, and then nobody sees this and can see that all the way to knight c1. Nobody can see anything. So that, I mean, like in this position to play knight f7 and be right, you have to see knight c1. Now, I've discussed this with many students before, and this is an example of what I've discussed. I usually can't show them an example, but here's the example I can show them. There's three ways to play chess. You see nothing. You guys know what I'm talking about. You see everything, or you see like some stuff. And 99% of chess players are in the seeing some stuff. Now, in this position, if Keimer saw everything, he would play knight takes f7. He sees almost everything, but doesn't see knight c1, so he doesn't play knight takes f7. Now, let's get to a weaker player, like me, okay? If I'm playing the game, I am more likely to play knight takes f7 than Keimer because I see less than him. And so I would see this if I was playing and there's no way that I would see bishop f6, rook a1, queen a2. I would never see that. Now, maybe in 1994 I would see it, maybe. Now, now there's no way I would see it, okay? So I would be sitting here going, I am winning, I am the best, and my opponent would go here and I'm like, so, Dump, dummy? Then he would go here, and I'd be like, oh, he can play queen a2 here. And then I would find knight c1 because I'm finding it here. 
and Keimer already saw this long time ago, didn't see knight c1, I wouldn't see bishop f6, rook a1, check queen a2. So I would play the winning line by accident, then I luckily have knight c1 winning. I would be like, oh, king h2, queen h2, I missed that. And then Keimer didn't miss it, but he missed this. But I would have already missed it. Now I get to this position, and then I find it. Because, I mean, that's not a lot to calculate now. Knight c1, king h2 resigns. So by being a worse player, you play better. Because it's not necessarily better to see more than somebody if you're not seeing everything. And sometimes a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. And I have other examples where seeing more than the opponent means you play worse. Because neither one of you sees everything. And by you seeing less, you can luck into the right line. And by seeing more, you can't. And that's why... Technically, if you're a computer programmer, you'll understand this. Technically, you don't necessarily play better chess at a higher depth. So if one computer sees 30 ply and the other computer sees 32 ply and they're both wrong and 35 ply, you actually find everything. It's possible the 30 ply computer makes a better move because he doesn't see what further where the 32, but, that, but they're both wrong. And the guy who's more wrong, he's actually right because things can happen later that neither one of them saw. And so the guy who's wrong plays the right move and then later he locks into the winning position. And that's rare, but that can happen and that happened here. So a weaker player would have played knight f7, but a stronger player sees bishop f6, rook a1, queen a2, and the genius player, the engine, sees knight c1, which a human just doesn't see. Who's going to see knight c1? Ridiculous. Thank you for the sub, honking antelope. Now, don't make any, don't make any like big, you know, pronouncements because of what I said. <laughs> Whatever you do, you're going to lose. But I'm still telling you like the right thing, you know. Yeah, we got one bit from Big Daddy. Welcome wow. Twitch Paint Pokemon. First time chatter. Yeah. Giving us some kind of Lord of the Rings analogy. Who? Where? Right here. What do you say? When like when Denethor uses the Palantor Palantir. In Lord of the Rings and loses hope? Yeah. What? I don't remember. Yeah, you're just that. making stuff I up I loved now. Lord of the Rings when I was a kid, but... You're even making up Lord of the Rings. <laughs> all right, don't forget to keep going because it's paused. So we're missing all the donations. There we go. Thanks for explaining why I could beat Magnus. Exactly. It's the magic orb. Unless maybe he does in the book. Yeah, there's lock in chess, and sometimes this is this is the this is the bad luck. Life, be life okay. below fifteen hundred. And this was very funny. This was the first round. When I say it's very funny, it's not funny. Uh What's funny? This game. Okay. Okay. This game was played the first round. White is Gabriel Sargisian, who used to be the second best player in Armenia. And I, I guess he's the best now because uh, Ar Aronian plays for the U.S. Although the way Aronian's playing lately, uh, Sargisian, you know, probably better than him. And then a Axel Bachman from South America, I think. I think he's from Paraguay, but I could be making that up. But I don't think I am. He's 2,600 feet A. They got this drawn position, and the engine says this move draws, that move draws, and this move draws, and that move draws. So it's completely drawn, except for one thing. If you show this position to engines, the engine says draw... I don't care what color I am. I draw. Everything draws. Always draw. And if engines are playing each other, they always draw. Okay. If you show it to grandmasters, we'll ask Karen. She's not a grandmaster, but she knows one. Ready? <laughs> if you had to win, yeah. would you want to have white or black here? It's a drawn position, but who has chances to win? White. 
White. White has past pawns all, all over the pawns, board. South of black pawns. black can never win. Yeah. Like white could play bad on purpose and white's not gonna lose. White white can't lose. Okay. So it's a draw, but black has to prove it. But there's not a lot to prove because the engine says like every legal move draws. So okay. Let's have a look at the game, shan't we? And I don't mean Sarg. That's the other Sargesian. That was a great joke, by the way. There's this guy Sargesian. Yeah. There's another Sargesian who spells his name differently. And his first name is Shant. Shan't we? Oh. Shant Sargesian, but he spells Sargesian <laughs> differently. Okay, so he probably pronounced it differently too. But what do I know? Okay, so Black played Rook G8 check. That's fine. King H4. Black played Rook G1. That's fine. And white said, I would like to queen and played b6. And black played rook h1 check, which is the only move that draws. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, if white plays king g4, rook check, king h4, rook check, that's going to be a draw. So white played king g3. Okay. And in this position, black made the losing move. Black has one move that draws. What is it? And I will explain why he didn't do it. I know why he didn't do it. I didn't talk to him, but I know anyway. Grandmasters are like that, son. We're like black actors. We're like that. Got to stick together. Let's see. Black has one move that draws. Mm -hmm. And not only do I know why he didn't play the drawing move, he thought the move he played draws, and I'll tell you why he thought that after we look at it. Because I know what he missed. I mean, I would just take the pawn. Taking the pawn draws, but I'm going to tell you why he didn't do it. Okay. If you take the pawn, I play b7. Mm -hmm. What does black do? Rook h8. Okay. Now I play bishop here, threatening bishop c8. Then I queen. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Rook b8. Right. Thanks for five subs, Twitch Pants, Twitch Paints Pokemon. And then bishop c8. And this looks like black's lost because his rook's trapped. <laughs> Well, I, was, I was thinking about Gotham Chess's rook. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's lost, right? Yeah. It's not. Black Black just moves his king anywhere. Every move draws. You can you can move your king back even. White has no winning plan. Black just plays king here, 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 king here. You can't win. If your king goes over to c7, right, you run over to c7, mm -hmm. then this, this is just a draw. But it looks like it's lost because, like, the rook's trapped. And, like, your whole life when you see this position, when you see, like, a rook trapped by bishop and pawn, you just assume that you're losing because it's always losing. Yeah. This is not losing. Okay, so rook h5 draws. Hang on a second. Thank you for uh, all those gift subs, Twitch Paints Pokemon 5. Mm-hmm. Okay, so black played rook b1. And white played b7, which I'm sure black saw. Mm -hmm. And black played king g5 and said, I'm going to draw. Like, what's I'm, I'm winning the h pawn. Put it in h. Okay. And white's winning here. White actually has more than one way to win. But I like what white did. White played h6, putting in an h. Black took. And white played king g4. And I'm guessing after king g4, black realized what he did. If he plays the obvious king g6, mm -hmm. bishop e4 check wins the rook. Uh. So now my king is doing the sound about the sweet loving woman and the song about the knife and doing the walk, the mm -hmm. walk of life. Okay, so black went black was like, I, I'm going to stop your king. Okay, black has to play king e7, king d5, and white is threatening king c5 and bishop b5. And then I block your rook and I queen. So black has to get his king over there. Right. So black played king d8. So now if you play king c5, I play king c7. But now, and, and after king d8, black resigned. Because white plays king d6. And white has a very simple winning plan, which I will explain. 
Yeah. Okay. And and here's what's funny about this position. If you find chess funny, if black doesn't have a rook, it's stalemate. But black has a rook. So too bad. So now if you check, I play bishop d5. You go back here to stop my pawn, and I do this. And there's nothing you can do. If you play king e8, I play king c7 and win. Nice. So actually, black played king d8 and then resigned. Because after king d6, white's completely winning. So that was a drawn end game. Everything drew. The game's like six hours long, and then you lose. That's the most fun you can have. And then when the game ended, he stood up and said, I'll be Bach, man. Well, that was an interesting game. Yeah, that's Eddie Murphy's favorite player, Axel Bachman. Yeah. What was his character's name in uh, Beverly Hills Cop? I guess Axel. Yeah, Axel Foley. But Oh, yeah, Foley. Yeah. I vaguely remember that. Mm -hmm. I think because you've talked about him. Man, Bishop Takes got it. That was good. You liked Ben's intro to the other Ben's book? Yeah, people said they learned a lot from my, from my, pre, my uh, what, what do you call it? Feel free to yeah, say something it? snide now. What's it called? Forward. Forward. Yeah, I never mm. would have got that. Yeah, people said they learned a lot and they were like highlighting it on Twitter. Like Ben said this and Ben said, I was like, what? Oh, they liked nice. what, I, what I wrote there. Yeah, I, the forward. Oh yeah, Neil Bruce, you're the guy who did it. Although he spelled forward wrong, but you know. He did what? Wait, maybe that is how you spell forward, is on it? On Twitter? Yeah, on Twitter, he was, yeah, Neil Bruce. He's, oh. a, he's a Twitter guy. Yeah. He basically I only lives Neil, on Twitter. I know who Neil Bruce is. Wait, you spell forward correctly. That's weird. <laughs> Stop when you're ahead. Bam. <laughs> yeah, I like the way Greasy Hobo, though, spelled forward. Well, I missed all that Twitter stuff. Mm-hmm. Man, it really looks wrong that it's playing forward like that. That's just terrible. Yeah, I think Neil Bruce is the one. Correct. Tell me if I'm right, Neil. You posted all these chess books on Twitter. That sounds like him. Like your bet. And um, I I downloaded it. What did I do? I took pictures. I, I saved them all. I saved all the book list for my future, in my future. I still think that's not how you spell forward. I think he's wrong. I didn't see. It looks it looks wrong. <laughs> it is wrong. I was right. F just it F is wrong. He spelled it wrong. It's it's W O R D. What great greasy hobo? Not greasy. See how Neil Bruce spelled forward? Right here. No, no, that that's correct. Look at Neil Bruce. He spelled it W A R D. That's wrong. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah, uh, I knew it looked wrong. I didn't even notice. He's looking at the book. No, thing. you're spelling it wrong, Neil. It's not W-A-R-D. It's W-O-R-D. It's on the book. I just looked at the book. <laughs> or bring me the book. Where is it? There oh. you go. <laughs> I knew it looked wrong. I'm like, that doesn't look right. <laughs> Why can't the author write the foreword also? Forward is how knights move. All right, well, I'm still going to trust your book list, if that, if that was yours. No, now he's banned. I think it was his. Now he has to give 100 subs. Hey, can somebody donate the requisite amount of subs so we have 1,000? <laughs> somebody type exclam stats. Yeah, we need five subs. We have 995. You get a famous person to write a foreword. Yeah, that's what I did. I'm the famous person in question. Now I'm gonna, I might read the book. I'm interested in it. Just read the foreword, then you'll really get good at chess. Yeah. I'll read the foreword when you listen to me on the pod. Mm -hmm. And then, then we'll did you, read did, did you Did you read my book that I wrote on the Smith-Mora? Uh, I read part of it. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I, I listen to your pod. Also, that's probably the only one I listen to. I don't also, even listen to mine. Also, I read the. Um, I did four of those. Most of uh, all the all the wrong moves. Mm hmm. It worked in practice. Gave a sub. We Yay. need four more. We need forward more. The rest of the book is not as good as the forward. 
<laughs> yeah, I want to look at it. We have it since he sent you one. All right, let's get a train going, people. It's hard to find time. I'm do doing all this poker stuff. I'm super dehydrated. How many more games have we got? That's it. Oh, that was it? Yeah, we've gone almost two hours. I'm just asking because I'm so thirsty. I walked on the treadmill today for an hour and a half. You've read about 40 books. God, what a, you know, what's the word I'm thinking of? What a Tyro? Yeah, Tyro, that's good. Have, well, I've got your whole book list, Neil. Shouldn't Karen's I, read more books than Abs of the Universe. But not chess books. Shouldn't I just go read the ones that I downloaded? Or I took a picture of. I don't remember now how I saved them. <laughs> yeah, I've got all your books. I already know. I, I knew that your list was going to be a good one because you're very meticulous. Was my kiss on his list? <laughs> TV Guide does count as a book. I believe in the three R's. Reading TV Guide, uh, writing to TV Guide, and renewing TV Guide. Do they still have TV Guide magazine? Ooh, that's a good question. The only person who knows is George's father on, uh, on Seinfeld. He collects them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you collect TV Guide? Yeah. That's pretty strange. You should write a book for intermediate players. Well, now he's got his chessable courses. Yeah, I do chessable courses. I just finished the text today of my next chessable course. I'll make the videos next week. And then I assume sometime at the end of November it'll be out. Yeah. You were waiting for that Simpsons quote? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think he will make more on chessable. We I think my my book on the Smith Mora that I co-authored with Shafoni was is for intermediate players. Mm -hmm. Great joke farty party. That's Karen's favorite joke ever. <laughs> Yeah, but Sunil's book is good. What about Sanal? Is his good? Is his book good? Sanal. He's the guy who's lost Sunil? the last game. No, Sanal. Oh, He's Sunil. the guy who lost the last game. Yeah. All right. So should we raid Botez, Nemsko, or Kremling? And before you answer, I think Nemsko and Kremling are playing a match, or something. Who, who's playing a match? Somebody's playing chess with somebody else. Is it Kremling and Nemsko, or I made that up? Might have made it up. Wow, look how many London has. He's really built his community. 21, up. God damn. That's what I'm saying. He must have a lot of relatives. Every time we look, though, he gets more and more. Oh, Andrea Botez is playing Anna Kramling. Botez yeah. is about to raid me. All right, we'll have to keep streaming then. Yeah, if that's true. <laughs> if true. Oh, Kramling and Botez are on together now. Who won? I, I assume Kramling. Kramling's a lot better than Andrea. That's what I'm saying. Andrea wants you two to adopt her. The only way we could adopt Andrea is if we adopted her like a, an actual adoption, not a chess adoption. <laughs> can you adopt an adult? Yeah, I, mean, I uh, guess. You can. I, I guess know. you can. Because like, if they're special needs ones, they can get Andrea adopted. could pass for special needs. <laughs> she could. She could convince that she's special. Yeah. I would think you can, but I'm not completely sure. I mean, she's the age of an adult, right? How old is she? She just turned 21. Oh, so there you go. Well, she's so cute. I would love to adopt her. <laughs> Mm 
Man, that'd be a noisy house if she was in here. <laughs> Damn. The dogs would, would, would bark because she's so noisy. She can finally drink alcohol. Yeah, I'd get her to go to karaoke with me. If Yay! We, we got the raid from the adoptee and the adoptor. Yay! Thank you. Go Botez, Botez Live. Live. We were just talking about what our lives would be like if we adopted Andrea. Mm hmm. We decided it would, the house would be less quiet. Mm hmm. <laughs> go Andrea and possibly Alexandra. Thank you, guys. Hi, people from Botez Live. We were about to finish our stream soon, but instead we won't. It will stay a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Stay just a little bit longer. Anna is quite noisy, too. Anna Cramling's <laughs> noisy? Oh, how does Pia put up with that? <laughs> no, what do you mean? She's got her own place. Yeah, but I meant like she must have been noisy as a kid. You wouldn't just become noisy as an adult. <laughs> you know that Anna's parents are both grandmasters. I know that. That's unusual. That is unusual. Not only is it unusual, it's almost unheard of. It might be unheard of. There are grandmasters who were married, but I don't know if they have kids. Somebody on the poker space was... They like to talk about chess a lot with me on the mm -hmm. poker space, and they were describing, oh, do you know this chess streamer? Blonde hair, hustling people in New York Park. I'm like, Anna Cramling? And he's like, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that, so... Well, I saw it when she did it, when she was, she does these in real life streams that we should do if we weren't so lazy. What's not unheard of in Alabama? Hey, look, Neil Bruce liked my interview with Ben. Thank you, Neil. Mm -hmm. You did an interview with Ben? I was very proud that I did it. I'm glad you liked it. It was fun. Shouldn't somebody be babysitting Anish Geary? Let's see. Oh, well, Atus is not a grandmaster. But yeah, Hikaru is. Is that really true that he babysat her? <laughs> uh, he, he can't make that up. That's got to be true. Yeah, that seems, that rings true somehow. Mm hmm Because it's too strange otherwise. Got to make that babysitting money. <laughs> now, what about Hikaru and Atusa? Wow, that's pretty tall, Neil. That is cute. Yeah, I wonder if Hikaru and Atusa are going to have some children. Hey, I never believed that would be Swizzle. Atusa is super cute. He did pretty. He did pretty well. Oh, Anish was on the same team. Interesting. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Atusa, yeah, he did. Hikaru did about as well as yeah, he can do in the women department. <laughs> that is says no. I don't know what he's talking about. So should we do should we do a couple of puzzles or should I play some one minute? Um I'm I'm a little tired to do puzzles. You could do some one minute. You know, we can just stream another seven minutes or so. We'll stream till nine thirty. Mm -hmm. How about that? Because I may do some poker this evening. Although I'm pretty tired. You want to do puzzles? I'm too tired to do puzzles. Do some blindfold chess. Andrea and Anna just did that. They were impressive, actually. Well, that's pretty cool.
They can both play blindfolded, blindfold chess. What do I think of Athens, Georgia? I've only been there a couple of times. I'm not a, I guess I'm not a huge fan of Athens. It seems kind of generic over there. Yeah, I agree, Christ, Christomy, Christomere, that it seems impossible. I, I, I'm not good enough to play blindfolded. Well, that's not good. Me too. I can barely play with open eyes. And it's a good day. You know, I move the pieces when Ben plays blindfolded. So I'm proud if I didn't move it to the wrong, <laughs> to the wrong square. Because you got to go fast. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Pierre Abelard. Well, coming up soon, later this month, Ben is going to do commentary again for Dana Valenkaya when she's playing I in the tournament. played fast enough. And also, he's going to give Dana some lessons on stream. So we'll let you guys know when when we hey, get that Nemo. scheduled. I'm playing Nemo. Oh, is that Nemo? Uh -huh, and she's streaming. <laughs> Ugh, god damn it. Dummy. Ooh, that was helpful. This game is not very good. I can't castle due to its illegality. Unbelievable. Aw. That is the worst game ever. Ugh, so slow. Yeah, I won a game. Exciting, Ben versus Nemo. I gotta put a little marker. for our editor to be able to find stuff.
Ooh, zero mistakes, zero blunders, zero misses. <laughs> that was a good game. Oh, this is fun. Maya. Let me get over here for a second. Yay, zero mistakes again, zero blunders. Nemo looking pretty focused over there. Yeah, he, Ben has a few uh, students, Neil. He's full right now, but he does still teach some students. He only recently started back teaching students. He didn't teach for a while. Stop the game, it's too exciting. Yay, I won. Yeah, Ben already went over the games, so you did miss all that. We were, in fact, we were going to end the stream. Then Botez Live raided us, and now Ben's playing Nemo. So there's all this excitement going on, so we're not ending the stream. taken that last move. Ben's playing Nemo right now. That's when. <laughs> Primal. They've played several games right here. You gotta look, look at the chess. <laughs> That's okay. I, you know, I, I miss a lot of things. Hung my queen earlier. What happens?
stupid move. Should have gone here. <laughs> I inched my way closer. Uh, I can't believe I'm not winning immediately. Damn it. Yeah, she hung the queen there. We, they were obviously low on time. The perfect game. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Neil Bruce. Love seeing all the in game maneuvering. Ugh. I went on time that game, actually. Yeah, I saw that.
Man, that was a cool game. That was cool. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was 75 moves in that 11 seconds. <laughs> that was very, very good maneuvering there. Yeah, that was very impressive. That was a good game. Let me see. Whoa. I was just checking checking in on Nemo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus. I almost hung my queen. Oh. <laughs> uh, what do I do? Queen d6 check. Damn. Uh. All right. Queen d6 check is pretty strong. Oh, I can go here because it's pinned. I'm a genius. Yes. I'm yeah. winning. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. That was lucky. Yes. I didn't see it either <laughs> until you pointed it out. E5 double X slam, Rick B. Double X <laughs> yeah, Instead of resigning, I won. Never resign. Hey, Cha Cha Chess. Ugh, on my pawn on c5. Terrible. I don't think I've lost a game, have I? I think I have two draws. I think that's correct, yeah. Two draws. What else? Yeah, Ben has good in game in game technique. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Maybe tell her GG in the chat or something. Oh, 
I'm an old man, I'm going to start losing eventually. <laughs> Let's see, how many games did we play? Played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games. Yeah, had 11 wins and 2 draws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's a good score against her. Yeah, she's no slouch. Oh, these games were rated. I didn't know they were rated. Okay. I gained 60 rating points. Yeah, Nemo is no slouch. Yeah. But Wait a minute. Ben is still I I gained I gained a a, I gained 100 rating points. I was 2502, now I'm 2610. Okay. No, I didn't know it was rated. Thanks, Jimbo Matthews. A hype train is close. Oh, that was fun. I'm glad you guys got to play. Yeah, I'm an old man, so I can't play anymore. That's 13 games is a lot for me. Mm-hmm. Yay, thank you, Jimbo. Who who donated before that? Because it's in the hype train. It's close. Let's see. I hear it is. Caspian168. Thank you. Yeah, one, one. I was watching the chest. We, we need two subs. Nemo said she played badly. Well, she got one out of 13 against me. So, yeah. That's that's pretty bad. Yeah, well, I know that she... She should probably get about 50%. Play Nemo 25 more times. <laughs> Yeah, I gained 100 points, so I guess she lost 100 points. No. Oh, that doesn't work like that. No, she lost... She lost 24. No, she only lost like 50 points. Oh, okay. Solid. Come on, Hype Train. We need two subs to get to whatever. <clears throat> All right, so... Yeah, I was good at one minute 30 years ago. Really? Serious? Your bullet in, in over the board is pretty impressive. <laughs> Well, 30 years ago, I was really, really fast. I'm old. <laughs> but I saw it like it was still fast. Yeah, but you see me 30 years ago. God mm -hmm. damn. Thanks, Night Night. We have 999 subs. 999. So should we raise somebody? Well, we're in the middle of, a, of a, a hype train. We just got a hype train. Yeah, I mean, that matters. Thanks, Caspian168. People can't donate if we raid somebody. Yay, we have 999 right. subs. We should figure out who to raid. Because I might do that. Probably Nemsco, right? 10. Yeah, she's still going to be streaming, I guess. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, bye, guys. Well, we're not going to leave until the train's over. But, uh, yeah. You can leave. How long does it take? It depends if it keeps going forever or if, like, it ends now. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go up just because I wanted to see what's yeah. on It's going to end in four to ten minutes. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah. Okay, well, Ben's going to hang out with you guys, and then there'll be a raid for Nemo. I have to head upstairs because I'm going to do some poker. You beat Etienne Bacro in your dreams today. I have played him. I played him in the Pro Chess League. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. All right, bye, guys. All right, I'll see you in a second. Mm -hmm. They said bye-bye, Karen. Okay, let's, let's break 1,000 subs. Come on, people. Come on, I played Nemo 13 times. Let's get some donations or something. Etc. We got raided by the Botez sisters, at least one of them. What happened in Nemo's match with Andrea Botez? What was the result? Go monkeypox. I mean, boo. Is anybody following the World Series? Does anybody care? Like, do I care? I guess not. Let's see, what's going on here? New friend request, new enemy request. COVID-19 vaccines are now at the store. I, I have one. I already got a vaccine. I think I've had four or five vaccines. What else? Andrea beat Anna blindfolded with a mate. Oh, so Anna was playing blindfold? I'm confused. Come on, let's go. The hype train's dying. We need three subs to get to level three. Come on, I'll get my pom-poms out. I'll get my cheerleading outfit on. Come on. Both played blindfolded. Jerk the Jew subscribed. 1,000 of 1,000. Hooray. 
Both Anna and Andrea were blindfolded. Good, good. Anna won at Blitz, Andrea blindfolded. Both blindfolded. It was impressive. What? I mean, I wish I could play blindfolded. That would be that would be cool. If only I had a blindfold. <laughs> My blindfold. Yay, Thorntro gave five subs. Go with Thorntro. That'll get us close to level four. We've crushed the 1,000 sub barrier. Nothing can stop us now. I've played blindfolded bullet over the board. Yay, 76%. Their blindfolds were cooler than mine? I don't know, blindfold's pretty good. It's got this soft stuff here. I like this blindfold. But yeah, they probably were cooler. Are you gonna play blindfolded? What? I play blindfold on my stream like once a week. The blue bound game that you're referring to, I looked at on stream today. We analyzed the game. We looked at the whole game. Yeah, I did well when I played Blindfold Bullet. I had a good score. You're all banned. Well, my opponent wasn't Blindfold. They made the moves. They were looking. And then the guy who was on my team would say the moves and I would tell him the moves. He was fast. It was Julian. Sometimes he's on the stream lurking. Go, Julian. He could be here right now. He's the best player in the world to play blindfold bullet with. He's good at saying the moves and making your moves. I don't know. I guess I hope the Diamondbacks win because they're so bad. I guess the Rangers are the favorites. Go Diamondbacks. I'm glad the Diamondbacks beat the Phillies because the Phillies beat the Braves. So got to keep rooting for them. Come on, Hype Train. We need one more sub. Get to level four. Let's see. What's the score of the game? Does anybody really care? Rangers against Sparta Praha. I don't care about that. Five to three Dom Diamondbacks, middle of the fifth. Come on, hype train. We can do it. I'm going to raid Nemsko if she's still streaming when, when the hype train ends, which I think will be true. Why World Series and not U.S. Series? Because the Toronto Blue Jays play. And occasionally, like 20, 30 years ago, the Montreal Expos played. So that's why. Go Tottenham Hotspurs. The Hotspurs won two to one today. What do you mean? Go Hotspurs. They crushed it. Johnny Cueto? I've barely heard of him. Barely a GM. It's the Yankees Benditos. Man, the hype train's not doing well the last three minutes. Nothing. You guys are all the worst. Give yourselves a hand. Of all the streams in all the world, how could you guys be the worst? Ridiculous. What kind of octopi is that? Man, octopi are like smarter than humans. Go octopi. And they have cooler names than humans. Human? That's really boring. Octopi, octopus. That's a good name. 
And they're in all different sizes. I saw a documentary a couple of years ago called, called like My Friend the Octopus. It wasn't called that, but it was like almost called that. That was a good movie. That's right. Octopus, he's not a bad movie. Yeah, the South African dude. Come on, hype train. We're dying at level three. No. Yay, B Swizzle, you did it. Thanks for the sub. You put us at level four, just barely. Now we need four subs again to get to level five. The hype train will never end. Yay, you found your mom's credit card. Good, good. We're, we're at level, level four, zero percent. That's a good percent. Yeah, you should write down the credit card number so you don't have to get the credit card every time. Come on, man. Well, I'm glad I won some one minute games. I'm not, you know, so good at one minute anymore. Old and stuff and such. A couple of games I made no mistakes. That one game was exciting where my king was running up the board and she sat two exchanges. And then I thought I was going to resign, but then I found Rick B.A. Chuck. That was crazy. Yeah, I just finished writing my chessable course on the Sicilian. So we played a lot of Sicilians. And uh, I have to make the videos and do the promos and stuff. So it'll probably come out in about three, four weeks is my guess. Takes about a week to make the videos or 10 days. And then uh, they have to do stuff. And then they're going to send me corrections and tell me to do it over and stuff. So it's, it's going to take three or four weeks to get it out. No, 0%. That's the worst percent ever. Somebody do exclaim stats so I can see how many subs we have. We might have like 1,010. 1010. One, it's like a computer. Man, London has 27 viewers. That's pretty good. 1,006. No, six. Six doesn't exist. No, the hype train is dying. I would only play the Danish pastry gambit if it was vegan. So probably not. All right, I give up on the hype train. You guys are done with me, I guess. So we'll just raid Nemsco. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Also, next week on Saturday, so in eight days, James Alltoucher is going to be on this stream, and I'm going to look at some of his games he played in a tournament recently. That's in eight days. I'll announce it every day so you guys know. James Alltoucher, he'll be on the stream in eight days. Bye, everybody.